Pickle, let's go to the hotline. And let's matriculate to Uvalde County. There's a, there's a buzz in the air about a football team down there. We're pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Sabinal Yellow Jackets, Coach Jeff Kowalski. Coach, how are you? Good. How are you doing, Greg? I'm excellent. How are things in beautiful Sabinal, Texas? Uh, a little overcast today, mm. but other than that, pretty good. Uh, join the club, man. That's everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah. You guys are off to a 9-0 and start. Um, and uh, before coming into your game this week against Rock Springs. And I guess my question for you is, is is this about what you expected from your team, or have they kind of overachieved even your expectations? Well, I thought we were going to be pretty good. I didn't know we'd be 9-0 at this point, but I felt like we had a, a chance to be successful. Um, you know, we had a, a lot of kids coming back. This is This is my third year here, and a lot of these kids have been with me since their sophomore year. So, uh, they knew that they knew our expectations. They know the system. So we felt like we could be pretty successful, but, uh, nine and oh, I didn't, I didn't think that. Um, and, and, and furthermore, you guys are the, the looking for your first unbeaten regular season since 1929. You guys haven't had an unbeaten regular season in, in almost a hundred years. Um, is that something that you guys are talking about? I think coaches play it one of two ways. It's either we don't want the kids to know because it's a pressure thing, or we want to talk about the potential of making history. Which one is it for you guys? Well, we didn't start talking about it until this week. Mm. Uh, you know, it's the old cliche, we want to go 1-0, and, oh, and, and we've done that every week. And this week... We want to go one and zero, but it also means that that we're ten and zero, and it's it's, you know, the kids are they hear it around town from the old timers that you know there's never, never been a team go undefeated is what they've been telling me, and then uh, I think you put it out on Twitter since 1929, and there's a there's a book of Sabinal football history, believe it or not, and I got it and I went back and looked at it, and sure enough, 1929 they were nine and zero, so. Um, the kids kind of knew that going into this week just from people around town. And, and uh, yeah, we've kind of embraced it a little bit uh, just because it's a big game and we need to win it. Jeff Kowalski of Sabinall joining us here on Texas Football Today. Get involved in the conversation at hashtag TF Today. Okay, so, Coach, you mentioned this is your third year there at Sabinall. You took over a program that was 0-10. Um, you know, missed the playoffs narrowly in, in 2020 before getting back there at, uh, it, to the playoffs last year. Um, obviously, this is different. <laughs> you guys are, are playing at a different level right, right now. Can you put a, a finger maybe on exactly what is the difference between this year's team and, and the past couple of years? Well, you know, it, it's we've had two good off seasons under our belt. Mm -hmm. um, and I, like I said earlier, the expectations, the kids know our expectations. You know, last year we came into the season, and Greg, I, I think for the non-district schedule, we were missing about five to six starters for different reasons every game. And we finally got them back in district, and we started to kind of gel a little bit. Um, so, you know, I, I just think it's the third year of the program. Uh, the kids have really embraced what we've been preaching. You know, we're very big on the weight room, uh, and our kids really love to be in there. And, you know, we're in there four days a week. So, I think that builds a little confidence, you know, from getting stronger, and, and it's starting to show this year. Uh, you guys are, I think, one of the biggest differences that I can I can tell from your squad this year is that it feels like the defense has taken not just a step forward, but a, a huge step forward uh, this year. Your defense has been one of the very best uh, there in, in the classification. Uh, what what has been the difference on the defensive side? What, what has you guys rolling right now? Well, we, we switched things up a little bit. We went, we're still an even front, still a four-man mm -hmm. front, but we switched more to a 4-3 a than a 4-2-5. Uh, we simplified things a little bit. You know, I hired a new uh, defensive coordinator, uh, a guy that I've known for a while. Uh, uh, Coach Steitler came in, and uh, he's done an unbelievable job, and the coaches have done an unbelievable job. I, I told him last night, you know, there's not been a game that we have not been prepared for, and our kids have not played extremely hard, and that's a reflection of them. Um, but our defense has been outstanding this year, um, and we couldn't be happier with it. And, um, you know, got a big challenge tomorrow night. Uh, uh, one of the guys you're, who's been such a, a big-time playmaker for you is is, is your running back. Uh, uh, Israel Gonzalez has been uh, fantastic for you, really the straw that serves the drink between him uh, and, and Richard Gonzalez. They've been kind of a one-two punch. Um, for those two guys, those guys who have carried the load for you guys offensively, uh, what is it about those two guys that, that makes them special? Um, well, they're ex both extremely uh, hard runners. Mm -hmm. You know, our quarterback's a hard runner, and he's very fast. Uh, Israel's very fast. But 
I think also a lot of credit's got to go to our offensive line because they are really, really, really talented and strong. And these guys don't get touched sometimes till they're five yards down the field. Uh, but then they make the rest happen. But, uh, you know, Israel started as a sophomore last year, struggled, and then he figured it out and uh, has just been outstanding. And then, and then Rich, our quarterback, uh, we just moved him to quarterback this year. And it took him a couple of games to figure out, you know, kind of the offense and the reads, but he he has now, and uh, can't say enough about him too. Uh, you know, one one thing I'm interested in, Coach, uh, your 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 gig before you were here was you were the the athletic director at at Floresville. You were you were over there, and um, you, that's a pretty good gig. <laughs> I got to be honest, yeah. seems like a pretty good gig. Uh, but was it just a, a simple case of of the sideline? came calling and, and you wanted to get back on the sideline? Well, no, I was actually just the offensive coordinator at mm. Floresville. Um, I was the athletic director at Ingram before that. Right. Um, you know, and, and, and we loved Floresville. It was a, but my son was going to be a senior and I kind of wanted him to get to a small school where he could do more than just two sports and be involved in a lot of different things. And mm. we were blessed that Sabinow came open. Uh, and, and finally, Coach, it's it's on to the next one, and it's a big one going down there at Yellow Jacket Stadium in Sabinal. Uh tomorrow night as you guys welcome in the Angoras of Rock Springs, who are uh, certainly playing for a lot themselves. They have, uh, they're going to have a, a fire lit under them with an opportunity to win uh, a share of a district championship, and, and district championship really outright. Uh, I don't want to ask you to give away what you're planning on tomorrow night, but when you take a look at what you're up against with the Angoras tomorrow night, what do you see? Well, they're they're an extremely physical team, and they run the ball really well, and they create some problems on defense because they they you know they run a lot of man coverage and stack the box. So uh, we're gonna and you know we're gonna have to play great defense, which we've done all year. We're gonna have to run the ball, and we just can't make mistakes. We can't turn it, and we can't have dumb penalties. If we do that, you know, we'll have a chance. He's Jeff Kowalski, the head coach of the 9-0 Sabinal Yellow Jackets. Coach, we sure appreciate your time. Congratulations again on the great start, and uh, best of luck tomorrow night. Thanks, Greg, and thanks for all y'all do. Absolutely. There he goes, Jeff Kowalski, the head coach of Sabinal. Hey, thanks for watching this clip here on YouTube. If you like this kind of stuff and you want more of it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, you can watch us live every weekday at noon at TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, or here on YouTube. And if you want more of the best coverage of football in the state of Texas, check out TexasFootball.com and become a Dave Campbell's Texas Football Insider at TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.